is Ed Lonis. I'm the chairman of the Burst Foundation, and we're here as part of our outreach with uh, the Crow Creek. And uh, this is one of the many trips we've made out here in the last couple of years, and uh, we've been getting to know a lot of the folks here. Uh, one of those folks that we deal with uh, and helps us out quite a bit is Danita here. My name is Danita Loudner, and I'm an enrolled member of Crow Creek. And Diversity's been involved with the Diversity Project for three, four years now. Um, not only do they do outreach by bringing in semi loads of toys for tots and our mattresses and our food drives, but they've also helped us on some of our smaller projects too. Last year we did um, proms, they helped us collect prom dresses for our kids. Um, a couple years before that, they did a Lions Club helped us secure a Lions Club mobile unit to come in and do some screening where we found 80% of our individuals had high blood pressure and now Lions Club is an active part of our community. But um, without them we couldn't have gotten anybody to help sponsor the Lions Club. We had to reach all the way to Minnesota to get a Lions Club mobile unit here. That's one of the big things other than the outreach that you guys do. You know, it's a lot more than just bringing in the mattresses. It's, helping us as a community. Hi, my name is Brandon Sazu, chairman of the Crow Creek Sioux Tribe. Today we got the Diversity Foundation here. We got Ed in the red hat over here, who's the chairman of the Diversity Foundation. We got Lyle over here, Lyle Rudstead, who helps out with uh, <laughs> with uh, bringing mattresses, as you can see, to help out the Crow Creek Sioux Tribe and all its members. And we got Danita Loudner over here, who is a real help here. She's a member of the Crow Creek Sioux Tribe. So as you can see, they're unloading mattresses for people. Right. Earlier, they dropped off a lot of mattresses. And in the past, the Diversity Foundation is so fortunate to do the Toys for Tots drive during a blizzard. I mean, that, that's something. <laughs> I was here during a blizzard, man. Lyle drove, drove miles through a blizzard. Interstates closed. They made it here. They got it done. Okay, I just want to, you know, thank the Diversity Foundation for helping out Crow Creek with everything they've done from uh, bringing furniture to people to bringing mattresses to helping our helping our tribe the Crow Creek Sioux tribe I just want to thank thanking each and everybody for helping out the Crow Creek Sioux tribe and recently as you may be aware of back in December December 3rd or December 3rd 2009 the IRS came and optioned off 7,112 acres of Crow Creek land and during that time, starting on December 7th through the December 25th, I did a campaign to get our land back. I went and sat on the land for approximately about three weeks. And during that time, when Lyle came down here and drove through the blizzard, he came up there and interviewed me and put the message out there for, for Crow Creek to get our land back. So I just want to thank him for that, because they've been a really big help for us. My name is Mike Gallagher. I've been a volunteer with Diversity Foundation for five years. I started out uh, with them with Toys for Tots. Um, also now I'm, I've, I've been helping them out with the Dakota Foundation. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, to be involved with them in their distribution of Wapapa popcorn. And hopefully with uh, your support through the Wapapa popcorn, uh, this allow Diversity Foundation to expand their outreach.